Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I will show you how to track some stock parameters using Google Sheet. Let's get started. Google Sheets has many great functionalities. One of them is the ability to track stock parameters in real time. Here on the left side, you see some parameters that one may want to track for a stock. Column C2 is the stock symbol based on which these parameters will be calculated. Currently, it's a drop down list consisting of stocks in NASDAQ and also in NSE of Indian stock market. You can find the ticker symbol of the stock of your choice at finance.google.com. And let's say you wanted to find the ticker symbol for Microsoft. So here is the ticker symbol. And let's say you wanted to find the ticker symbol for Tata. And there is a ticker symbol Tata Motors. Note that the stocks that are listed in NASDAQ, just the ticker symbol is enough. But for stocks for other countries, the ticker symbol needs to have the exchange too. For example, for the Tata Consultancy Services, you need to have a precursor of NSE, which followed by a semicolon. It is very easy to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets using data validation. Let's say you wanted to create a drop-down list in column C2. So you select column C2, go to data, data validation, and out here you can select the criteria as list of items and either you can just type in the list or have an other column in the sheet which you can refer to. Once you do that, the column C2 will have all the options based on your choices. Now we have the cells ready and the parameters we want to track. How can we get the information? So let's go to column C5. The key function here which helps us to get all the data for a stock is called Google Finance. So I'm going to put in column C5 the formula is equal to Google Finance of you need to put the ticker symbol and the ticker symbol for us is in cell C2 followed by the attribute. The attribute to find the current price is called price and just press enter. Google will pull out the latest price of that stock. Let me freeze the cell C2 by dollar symbol and I'm just going to copy and paste that's drag till the 12th row. Everything out here is showing the current price. All we need to do now is change the attribute in the formula based on our requirement. So if you wanted to find the change from yesterday, you need to put the attribute as change. For change percentage, again it's called change PCT. For 52 week high, the attribute is called high 52 and a 52 week low is called low 52. For the P to E ratio, the attribute is PE. EPS, the attribute is called EPS and close yesterday that is yesterday's close price is close yesterday. You can also see the trends for that stock in a six month, one year or any time period you would like. I'm going to put the formula here, spark line of the data. The data is going to be the price over a period of time. So you're going to get the data of the stock using the Google Finance formula with the ticker being the same in cell C2. Attribute is the price. The start date is going to be for a six month period is let's say today minus 179 and the end day is today and just close the formula. There it is. This will show the trend over a six month period and let's say if you wanted to get this trend for a one year I'm just going to copy this formula, go to the cell, paste it and instead of 179 days do 364 days and in cell C14 now you will get the one year trend. All these are related to the ticker symbol in cell C2. So if I'm going to change from Microsoft to let's say Google, 
Google Finance is going to get all the parameters and then plot them here. You can also track stocks from any stock exchange in the world as long as it is available in the finance.google.com website. Let's say I wanted to track a stock in the Indian Stock Exchange called Tata Consultancy Services and I know the ticker symbol is TCS. So I have an option of NSE which is the stock exchange and TCS which is a ticker symbol and now you can see all the information for that stock. Google Sheets is a great way to track parameters which are of interest to you for any stock. I hope that this video is of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.